went to Bucks Nationals in Sheffield and I've uh, just come off my final on the men's singles final. So, yeah, I just uh, won that one and it was a really tough match. Uh, really close, really long match. Uh, really close to the end, especially the last few rallies. Could have gone either way, but managed to scrape through and win that one. I came into the tournament top seed, but um, with Alex being there, I knew that I wasn't necessarily the favourite. Um, I've played tournaments that he's played for the last five or six years in Europe and whatnot, and yeah, he's, he's always going to be hard to play against, and he's a really strong competitor. I started the first set, I started really well, got quite a good lead, but then he came back really quickly after that, and uh, it got really tough, uh, really close, especially near the end of the sets, and it, it really was just a few rallies here and there that could have changed the way the match went, but luckily I came out with a victory. I won it two years ago, and uh, I didn't play it last year, but I came back and I knew it was going to be hard playing against Alex, always going to be tough, but yeah, it means so much to me and it's good to take something back to Scotland as well. I would say Bucks Nationals is an actually amazing tournament, they've got so many competitors, there's no tournament really like it, the crowd is amazing, you don't really get that sort of thing, it's even at the highest level, it's really amazing to play against, so many people cheering. It's really good, even though I've still got a lot of commitments in the Team Scotland and stuff like that, it's always good to be able to uh, play for the university and bring them trophies and stuff as so, well. The, the team, we've got the Bucks trophy coming up in a few weeks as well, so it's good to try and really make a name for, my, for, my, for the uni within Badminton, within Britain, so yeah, it's good.